Dr. Claire Maguire and this week I want to give you a meditation. I know I'm not dressed up in my normal meditation gear but I want to give you this one because it's a really dear one to my heart and I think it's really useful for you to have if you feel in a place that is vulnerable. So if you feel that you know you've been hurt or that you're not being heard or that you know somehow you know you just don't feel very safe in the world and that's so many people because you know we have to deal with other people we are not living in an isolated bubble you know we are having people write about us with their ideas their thoughts what they want and we can be hurt in the process and very often when we're hurt we can tend to sort of really kind of try and protect ourselves and it's almost like you know our shoulders will come up and we will instinctively try and cross the arms as if we were protecting the heart, okay? But if we protect the heart so we can close down and when we close down we're not fully experiencing the world and we're not fully experiencing our life and everything becomes more difficult. So with this particular meditation it's really about protect protecting the heart but then projecting outwards okay so we want to protect ourselves but we don't want to stay closed up we want to project so that we can be in this world as ourselves now if you've ever done kundalini or you've been on the retreat with me you will have heard me say this mantra which is ad gurenname jakat gurenname sat gurenname now we'll have the words there for you so you can read them and we'll link so you can listen to the song and the way that it's chanted and there's thousands of versions of this particular mantra. And the mantra itself is really about, you know, putting you into your own space So how I like to see this is it puts you in this circle of white light. Okay, so that's how I personally like to interpret it, that when we sort of sit in this space of white light, it's our boundary to the world. So this is me, I am safe, and that's the world, and I can take what I need from it, and what I don't need, I can push away. So when we're in this boundary, so we can then open ourselves up and open up the heart, and then we can project ourselves out, okay? And then with this particular meditation, we're going to use an arm movement. So we're going to have the hands to start, and they come into a prayer position, and then we move them out. So it'll go out, and we'll go ad gren name. And then we're going to bring them back in, and you bring them back to the heart space. Jakat gren name. We bring them back out. Sat gren name. And then we bring them back in. Siri guru ve name. Okay, so it goes ad garen name, jigat garen name, sat garen name, siri guru deve name, ad garen name, jigat garen name, sat garen name, siri guru deve name, and so on. So I want you to listen to the mantra, so we'll link to one. But if you don't like that, you can go and Google it and you can find one that really resonates with you. And then, as I said, use the ad movement. We start ad karenname out, bring it back in, jakat karenname, sat karenname, siri guru deve name. And do it for just three minutes. You don't have to do it for a long period of time. But if you could do that in the morning, you're going to set yourself up so that you can protect yourself and then project into the world. And then go about your day and really start to see the difference and see the difference as to how you can be open but protected at the same time and even if we were to go into body language you're not hunched up anymore you will then have that openness within the chest cavity okay and the shoulders go back and people see you as being more in this world and therefore people will respond to you differently. Okay, so there's a lot going on with this meditation. I personally love it. I'd love you to go and try it. Take care and I'll see you next week. Bye.